It is the second day of the month of January, year 2013. Second day, how are you doing with your New Year's resolutions? That's what we're talking about today on Couple by in LA with Tracy from Apollo Research Institute. Hello once again. Thank you. So we just went through the list of how to make your New Year's job resolutions. And now we need to, of course, you make it, you have to keep it, right? Well, and yes. And you have <laughs> tips for us on that as well. The first one is set small goals. What do you mean by that? That's right. Sometimes people overinflate the goal like I'm going to get a job and you know within a month as we just talked about mm -hmm. I think it's easier if you say I'm going to set the stage mm -hmm. for setting a series of goals so that I can have a job maybe by next January and here are the baby steps that I need to do to get there such as resume writing or taking interviewing class or learning about job boards or LinkedIn different different sub goals that mm -hmm. will get you to the big picture see some people uh, some uh, learners who actually advocate you know the, the mind uh, and and how we everything starts in the mind and then if you think positive and if you aim high and you know and what are your thoughts on that how does that reconcile with setting small goals because some people would say oh you know aim high and and just try to reach for the stars well you need to do that I mean you absolutely need to have a positive attitude but you also need to have realistic mm -hmm. accomplishments of what you can do that's why I do favor smaller goals writing them down keeping yourself accountable checking them off and mm -hmm. and really saying you know what was it I can realistically do every single day and your example earlier was you know I'm, I'm gonna get a job in 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 a year or I'm gonna get a job in six months what about you know you have a job now but your New Year's resolution is I'm gonna get a raise in three months does it does it depend on you or is it it, the, it has more to do with your management right well no I mean I uh, you can position yourself for a raise you can investigate number one one, what are other people making in the same types of industry and jobs and you can go out to there's a lot of sites that actually track that mm -hmm. number two is you need to make an assessment of yourself and sit down with your manager and say here is my goal right what can I accomplish in this firm and how can you help me get there mm -hmm. and, and I think once you state it to management and say this is what I'd like to do they'll get on board with you and help you right so that can be a goal as well that can be a new year's resolution if you yes. want to if you want your paycheck to be bigger that can be a resolution absolutely all right measure success how do you do that you know I have a girlfriend and what she does is after she completes something and completes a goal she buys herself her favorite pair of socks oh okay so for her she makes it realistic and tangible and she makes a fun reward out of it and so now she has you know when she has a lot of goals accomplished she has a big drawer of socks which brings us to your next step which is rewarding success it's like a positive reinforcement right absolutely it's either something from the socks to taking yourself out to dinner if you've gotten that new job you know you can set that visionary opportunity or taking the big trip of a lifetime mm -hmm. if you've actually achieved that goal you know plan it out and say before I transition jobs that's what I'm gonna do because it also gives you motivation it gives you something to look forward to and it yeah. it, 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 for, it pushes you and forces you to just really work hard on reaching your goal right yes yeah. many leaders use visual and visionary techniques to help them get to the end goal mm -hmm. everyone from athletes to CEOs having that you know visualize your your outcomes and your positive outcomes helps and I know that earlier in our first segment I asked about this timeline with specific tasks so you get you need to give yourself a deadline not only a deadline but breaking it down I actually mm -hmm. break down my goals even to hours mm -hmm. okay so, right? so if you're if it's a really tough goal mm -hmm. and it's a year long then I do segment it into months mm -hmm. weeks days and oh. hours right something that's hard you say okay by this hour I'll get this done and oh. maybe it is writing my resume by 10 a.m. Okay going and looking at job hunting by 12 noon, mm -hmm. sending out three resumes by five o'clock. Right. right. You know, oh, okay. really break it down so that you can see success. And also that way you can assess and make adjustments, which is your last tip. Absolutely. If something is not working, then you need to reassess. That's why I think documenting. So you could say, okay, gee, I sent out five resumes this week. Mm -hmm. Where did I send them? 
what went right, what went wrong. Maybe I picked the wrong company. Maybe I picked the wrong job mm -hmm. that didn't really align with someone who, you know, something that I could get hired for. Right. So I think it's important to always assess. Uh -huh. A lot of people just like to send out resumes or just make blind, you know, phone calls for things that don't make sense. Right. And so when you're assessing, you're able to make adjustments. So you see what works and what doesn't work, and then you adjust according to that. Exactly. You mentioned, like, you know, it, maybe it's not a good industry, or maybe, you know, I'm good at both things. I'm good at doing, maybe doing marketing and then writing for journalism, but maybe, you know, I should concentrate on journalism more, you know, things like that. Yes. Yeah. Focus on things that where you can have accomplishment, mm -hmm. right? If So if you're working at a Target, for example, and you want to make a move, you might want to target a, a Walmart, mm -hmm. something that makes absolute sense rather than saying, I want to be at a Saks Fifth Avenue. Right. But that's a very good goal because it's in retail, uh -huh. but it may not be the immediate transition that you're hoping for. Yes, because it's it, it, the experience is required and the experiences that you actually have don't align very well. Right? Exactly. Okay. All right. We're going to be talking about that because, you know, it's, it's the second day of January. It's year 2013. Everyone, you know, for the new year, everyone is hopeful. So let's be hopeful about the employment situation right now. And we'll get more information from you when we return. So let's talk about the job market and what else they can do and if they need to do a list of like a, a to-do list. If you're hunting for a job, that's when we return on the show. Don't go away.